Hello, my name is Sochil Dixon. Welcome to today's encouragement from our daily bread, Mutual Encouragement. After another week of being beaten down by more medical setbacks, I slumped onto the sofa. I didn't want to think about anything. I didn't want to talk to anybody. I couldn't even pray. Discouragement and doubt weighed me down as I turned on the television. I began watching a commercial showing a little girl talking to her younger brother. You're a champion, she said. As she continued affirming him, his grin grew. So did mine. God's people have always struggled with discouragement and doubt. Quoting Psalm 95, which affirms that God's voice can be heard through the Holy Spirit, the writer of Hebrews warned believers in Jesus to avoid the mistakes made by the Israelites while wandering in the wilderness. See to it, brothers and sisters, that none of you has a sinful, unbelieving heart that turns away from the living God, he wrote, but encourage one another daily. With our lifeline of hope secured in Christ, we can experience the power-packed fuel we need to persevere. Mutual encouragement within the fellowship of believers. When one believer doubts, other believers can offer affirmation and accountability. As God strengthens us, His people, we can offer the power of mutual encouragement to one another. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Hebrews chapter 3, verses 7 to 19. So, as the Holy Spirit says, Today, if you hear His voice, do not harden your hearts as you did in the rebellion, during the time of testing in the wilderness, where your ancestors tested and tried me. Though for forty years they saw what I did, that is why I was angry with that generation. I said, their hearts are always going astray and they have not known my ways. So I declared an oath in my anger, they shall never enter my rest. See to it, brothers and sisters, that none of you has a sinful, unbelieving heart that turns away from the living God, but encourage one another daily, as long as it is called today so that none of you may be hardened by sin's deceitfulness. We have come to share in Christ, if indeed we hold our original conviction firmly to the very end, as has just been said. Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as you did in the rebellion. Who were they who heard and rebelled? Were they not all those Moses led out of Egypt? And with whom was he angry for forty years? Was it not with those who sinned, whose bodies perished in the wilderness? And to whom did God swear that they would never enter his rest, if not to those who disobeyed? So we see that they were not able to enter because of their unbelief. Let's pray. Loving God, help us live for you and lift others up in love with our words and actions. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.